He he stopped believing in himself. That's it. That's why he failed. He quit. So much talent, so much potential, but he stopped believing in himself. He lost his way because he couldn't figure out what to do next with his career, and I guess all the stress that it happened broke him. His music was great. I would listen to it all the time. It would get me into a pumped up emotional state and his lyrics never got old. No one gave him a chance, but I think that in today's world, that doesn't matter. He didn't give himself a chance. He didn't give himself the chance to take control of his career the way I knew he could have. Maybe it was from doubting himself and it crippled his ambition. He did it for so long with no financial gain, no recognition for his genius. He couldn't do it anymore. He gave up. And that is why he hung himself in his studio. He couldn't do it anymore. It pains me because I believed in the guy more than he believed in himself. He forgot the number one lesson, which is to do what you love for the sake of the journey. Nothing is more rewarding than that. He lost sight of that. He forgot what it's all about. It's not about money or fame or compliments. It's about expressing yourself creatively because it's what your soul needs to do and enjoying the process. He lost track of that enjoyment and instead found himself caught up with the most people get stuck on. I wish I knew how deep it fell off in his belief because I would... I will miss him very much. He was a dear friend and a talented artist. And the world has been robbed of his contribution to humanity. It hurts. It's sad. It didn't have to happen this way.